All right, so first off, let's talk about the sack. Now, the sack itself, they always come in this nice little crushed velvet style bag. I like the bag. The bags come in super handy. They are all over my dang house. They're in my cars or in my trucks. They hold bait. They hold tackle. They hold um, gear. They just hold stuff that you want to keep track of in your car. My One of my sons, my oldest son, he has it for change. One of the smaller ones in for change in his uh, car in the console. So let's get started. Let's show you what they do. Now, the first thing I will say before I say that is... The monthly subscription costs you anywhere from $30 to $40, depending on how long you sign up for. Mine currently costs me just under $35 a month, and it's worth it. So even if it's $40 a month, you're generally going to get your $60 to $70 price range of gear from your bag. And that's worth it for me. So let's get started. Now, I know one of the items that's in here, and I'm going to try to skip around it. We'll do it last. But the one thing that always catches fish for me, as I mentioned in the intro, I catch, but I've caught two of my PBs, one last year, and I broke my PB that I'd already broken this year, again this year, with their crankbaits. Now, they make a lot of different crankbaits, deep diving crankbaits, shallow water crankbaits, uh, flat sided crankbaits. I mean, they're just, they cover a wide, sp wide spectrum in the water column. This is a Crush 50X. Uh, this one right here goes down to about two to five feet, and it's a three-eighths ounce lure in custom bluegill. Now, that's where you get your money's worth, is the colors they come up with. I mean, just incredible. Great bait. Great crankbait. Next up, we got another crankbait. Just like I said, that's a small square build crankbait. Two to five feet. This one's a little bit deeper. This is a curve, 55. This is five to nine feet. Now, having a fish finder helps you dedicate your fish and find out what, where the fish are at in those water columns. But then you got to be able to get your bait down there, whether it's dropping a glide bait and letting it sink down there and rolling it through, jerk bait right above them, uh, or cranking them like this, or dropping a lipless all the way to the bottom and twitching it up. You know, there's lots of different ways to cast, retrieve, and get get the results you want. But this one's a deeper diving crankbait, five to nine feet, three eighths ounce also. I like that color. It's like a root beer brown metallic. Uh, craw bomb. Isn't that a new color? I just don't remember that. I like that. But see how the, if you're new to crankbaits, that bigger bill works like a shovel and it just helps you as you're reeling it in. Slower reels work better for this, like six four to one, six seven to one, six five to one, whatever it might be. But you don't want the fast eight to one reels because they're going to crank too fast. That that's not going to be able to do its job. You're going to be pulling it forward and not down, letting it do its job. So you want to slow the reel down and let it bring it down and let it dive down and roll. You don't want it going really really fast because it'll literally just be like it's having a, a seizure, and it's not going down as deep as you want. Very important. And crankbaits are the same way. Crankbaits have shallow, deep, very deep, you know. But I like that color. I like that color a lot. Next, we got ourselves exactly like I was talking about. Crankbaits, crankbaits, and then this is a lipless. So you can either fish this where you cast it out, let it drop for a second or two, and then crank it and it rolls it over the top of grass or over a brush pile or whatever it might be. Or you can cast it out and be fishing deep and you can drop it down, let it go all the way down, work it up off the bottom, and then just keep moving it towards you up off the bottom. Some, I know people that drop it all the way to the bottom, like a spoon. You know, I also know people that want to keep it just above the bottom and work it in an area right above a brush pile or whatever it might be. So this is a Quake 70. Now this is a slow sink. I don't even think I've ever gotten a slow sink lipless crank from Six Sense. Now, what that means is some of them are going to be heavier. Now, they're all, whether this one is, say, 3 8 ounce or half ounce or quarter ounce, like in this case, it's 3 8 ounce. But there are 3 8 ounce ones that aren't as buoyant. It just depends on the polymers that this is made for. It'll make it go faster and just drop. And that's sometimes that's what you want. Sometimes you want it a little slower. You want it to where it's slowly, it's slow down a little bit. Because sometimes that's what they want. You never know. But the color is royal chrome. And I like that. I like that color a lot. Next, 
Okay, that's kind of weird. We got uh, plas soft plastics. Now, these are their new Juggle 4.0. This is exclusive color. I'm assuming it's going to be like a pearl white. Because it doesn't say. But it's like a white pearl. This is a drop shot lure. So, you're going to hook it. You can either Texas rig it or you can just nose hook it. And exactly like I was saying, you're fishing on the bottom. This is going to keep it a foot to two feet off the bottom and just doing this as it's swimming along because you don't want it on the bottom. I like the action on that. Sixth Sense has really done really well with their soft plastics lately, uh, especially when you deal with stuff like the Panorama. They just came up with the Panorama and came up with some smaller ones, like two and a half and a three inch or three and a half inch, which are going to be great for like Ned rigs and things like that. Just awesome. Then they threw in a pack of drop shot hooks. Very, very important. If you're going to give me plastics, give me hooks. Five pack of one aught or size one. These are just number one hot hooks. They're not one aughts. Good hooks. Now, these hooks are available in a lot of different stores. They're available at Walmarts and stuff like that, which is great and very handy. You know, Especially when they're very good hooks. And last but not least, look at that thing. That is a six cents trace six inch swim bait two ounces and this one's in what they call that wild shad i love throwing swim baits i don't know about you but that is a monster and i've already got a few of these and i've caught some nice fish on these one thing i will say is it is amazing how small some fish will be and still try to eat a piece of six inch plastic I mean, six inches with some girth to it. I mean, look at that thing. Super sharp hooks, great paint scheme, everything about it. Just wonderful. I like that a lot. And this is the fast sink, just like I was talking about before. It's how long do you have to let it go to get down in the water column you want it to be in. Sometimes it's a second, sometimes it's five seconds. You know, you never know. Especially the deeper the water, you, you never know where the fish are going to be. But the reason why I said what I did is we were out the last time we went out fishing. A friend of mine caught a bass. It was probably a two and a half, maybe three pound bass. He didn't catch the fish. We found it. And it had a crappie or a crappie, whichever way you want to say it. It had a crappie in its mouth, a big crappie, like a good full size, probably one pound crappie, which is a big crappie, really wide. And it was stuffed in its face and it couldn't breathe. You know, it couldn't breathe. Both of the fish were going to die, but just try to imagine wrapping your head around the fact that you're bad enough you're a fish and you're about to get eaten by another fish, but then it doesn't eat you all the way. So you're kind of stuck in its mouth, you know, just, uh, just a weird situation. So very cool baits. Now, usually we get six or seven baits. This month we got four baits, the plastics, the hooks, and this. Now these are 35 bucks. These are 35 bucks, if, especially if you go on Six Cents website, but you pick them up anywhere else and they're generally between 20 and $35, depending on if they're on sale or not. I've seen them on sale as low as 20, but I've also seen them as high as 35. So that is a beautiful bait. Now me personally, I love throwing swim baits and glide baits. So if you're looking at something like this, I personally use a Shimano Corrado for one of my swim bait setups. And I use a Tatula 200H which I recommend using a 200 series or 300 series for big swim baits. It's just easier. And at least a 7.3 to 7.6 uh, heavy action or you know, heavy powered casting rod for it. But me personally, I don't use braid. I have lost ones, especially like this. Say you're throwing a fast sink swim bait and you backlash well, you throw two ounces out there. There isn't a piece of braid, short of like a 100-pound braid, that's not going to snap when you whip it and it backlashes and snaps. That means this thing's going to hit the water and sink as fast as it would if it's hooked to line. It's just going to sink to the bottom and it's gone. So $35 in one cast, it'll break your heart because I've had it happen. I've had it happen with the $60 and $65 you know, swim baits. It doesn't feel good. So... I recommend using 20 to 30 pound fluoro, and it works really, really well. I like using a fast action tip. It kind of helps keep that little action going uh, for cat longer casts. And the longer rod makes it where you can throw this further because this is not a quick pinpoint one. You're going to throw this out over something and bring it back and let it 
do its job, you know, down deep. But if you throw it and you're throwing it, say, 20, 30 yards, and it's only that far, by the time it gets down and the time you reel it in, you've, you haven't gotten as far as you think you have because you're reeling it in at the same time as it's going down. So you want to take your time, get used to throwing these things. They're awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it the old thumbs up. I'll put links down below where you can go check out Sixth Sense. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Hope you're having a wonderful week. Um, we're going to talk to you some more here in a second. 